Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I am very excited to bring another awesome and exciting activity that I hope everyone will enjoy. I have with me Mitch, owner, operator of Bam Bam Draws, a custom drawing uh, company. So um, we're going to be doing a fun activity that everyone can join in from home. All you need is something to write on, something to write with, and uh, we're going to be having a lot of fun today. So, Mitch, thank you so much for being here with me. No problem. No problem, Danny. No problem. Thank you for your time. No Mitch, problem. Can you tell us what are we going to be doing today? So, today, actually, I figured it'd be fun, you know, for the kids, anybody really. Uh, we're going to be doing the alphabet drawing. So, every letter is going to have a drawing for that letter. You know, A, for example, A is going to be ant. You know, B is going to be bird. You know, we're in simple drawings, very simple, you know, few strokes with a pen. It can be fun for kids, uh, you know, fun for adults to show them how to draw. It's a great learning lesson. So, you know, I thought it'd be a good idea to do it with Dan. You know, he's do, been doing a great thing uh, with all these videos. So I figured this would be a great time to show. Hey, awesome. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, so it's going to be uh, different letters and, and words that start with that letter. We're going to draw it in there. Easy to draw. Awesome. Yep. Beautiful. All right, all right man. Cool. So, let me, so we're going to start doing this now. I'm going to start sharing the screen. Right, and I'll, I'll shoot it. I'll uh, put it over to you. Go ahead. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go up here. All right. And then you see the screen, right? Um, but it, it looks like just a, a dark screen right now. Yeah, 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 it's a dark screen right now. Okay. So yep. this is. So you see, you see this now, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So first letter we're doing is the letter A. So A. So what what does everybody know for A? A, we could do ant. All right. So A is going to be ant. Now let's see let's see how we can do this. So we're going to do a lowercase A. Okay, and then we're actually going to make a little circle here. You know. <laughs> Once we get the circle going, you know, that's his body. We're going to do like a little tail over here. And then you want to give it an eye. And then just some legs. You know, ants got to walk. And then you want to give it some ears. And then there you go. That's your ant right there. And then usually, you know, what I like to do sometimes is, you know, I'll change the color. You know, and you know, we could color them in. You know, so just to save some time on the video, guys, we're not gonna go through the whole process of coloring, but you know, just you know, then there's our end, you know, cute little guy. You know, he's he's an amazing character. So that's A. So now we're gonna just do this and keep the letters going. So now B, we're gonna be doing bird. And I was just going to add, you know, we can just do the hand, uh, just do the drawing. But if anybody at home wants to write along uh, the letters along with Mitch, you know, it's a nice way to just practice. You can always do more by making a sentence out of using this word. Um, so if you want to incorporate mm -hmm. handwriting, typing, there's, you know, so much more to do. So really, you know, whatever you want to do at home, you're, you're able to do. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. All right. So bird. So we're going to use actual capital B for this. And we're going to make this one a little bit bigger. So capital B, now for a bird, you always got to give it an eye. So, you know, here's the eye. And then, you know, for the bird, they have, they have their beaks. So we're just going to do this. You know, you want to color this in a little. Then you want to give it its mouth. 
its little nose, and then for the and then for the the body, you know, for birds they have wings, so you want to be cute about it. You want to give it a little wing, and then you know its little feet. You know, and then you know, you know, where do you see birds usually? You usually see them sitting in trees. So you know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna give it its tail first, and then we're actually gonna give it a little branch to sit on. You know, cute little guy. You know, you love seeing the birds during this time. You know, they might make a lot of noise, but you know, they're cute to see. And there you go. There's your bird. So B is bird. Now we're gonna keep going now. Now C, everybody know what C is probably gonna be, especially for the kids. Everybody loves them, cats. You know, so how so everybody wonders, you know, where are you gonna put a C on a cat? Well, a capital C and a lowercase C are basically the same shape. But if I'm gonna show you that, you know, just the first I'm gonna show you that this part. You're gonna make the C into a circle, actually. You know, make its head. I actually made its head a little too small. I'm sorry for the. Let me just get out of here. Make this a little bit bigger. There you go. Perfect. Bigger C. So we're gonna make the head. Then we're actually gonna put all the details in. So you wanna give it two eyes. You know, you wanna give it a little nose. Its mouth, and then every cat has whiskers. And then the ears. And then the body. Now the body, we're actually gonna start with the feet first. You know, you wanna give it feet. So you wanna put it here, you wanna put it here. And then just give it a nice little shape. It's going to be a sitting cat, guys. You know, there you go. And then every cat has its tail. And then we're just going to give it to show its belly. A nice little thing. And there you go. There's a cat. So just to add some more detail in it, you know, you can put a little circle here, a little circle there. You know, fix the toes a little so, you know, they actually, you know, so they look like shoes. I can put little claws in there. But there's your cat, you know, cute little guy. We're going to call him Charlie. Charlie the cat. All right. Now, the next letter is D. D, I think, is one of my you know, favorite ideas that I did for an animal here, because D, we're actually gonna be doing dinosaur. And you know, me growing up as a kid, dinosaurs were a great, you know, great thing to watch, you know, Land Before Time, all the great shows out there. Still, so, still, still love dinosaurs. True, still love dinosaurs. Can't even, can't even say any bad about them. <laughs> so for D, we're going to do a lowercase d to make this drawing. So we're going to do here and then over here. Now, for this, you know, the D, the D is really going to start off from the top. We're going to, you know, make the head a little, you know, give it an eye. And then we actually want to give this guy his whole neck. So we're going to add to this, you know. Give his little tail right here, little legs, and then this dinosaur. We're gonna put fins on him. I figured this was cool to do that. And you know, you can color him whatever color you want. You know, this one we could actually make him green. You know, just scribble that in here. You know, over here around everywhere you know give, give him a nice little shade of green you know green dinosaurs used to be a thing back then still are but you know we're gonna name him dino dino the dinosaur all right 
So now we're going to get to letter E. And then E, we're going to be doing elephant. So elephant. So we're going to be doing capital E. And with this capital E, we're going to first make the trunk, which is going to come in and sit right here. Then we're going to make his body. So this is going to be his front legs. And this is going to be his back legs. Now, for this, this gets a little bit detailed. So, you know, I'm going to erase the extra lines to show you guys the actual full picture. But usually it's, you want to put the head here. The other part of the head goes here. This would be the ear. And then you want to give it, you know, the actual shape of an elephant. So you want to give it its full body. Now here is where that's with all the lines. I'd suggest using a pencil for this one. So perfect part of the iPad, it will shape out for you. You know, so then we're gonna go over here. Oh, no, but erase the whole tail. That's not good. Okay. So there you go. There's Ellie. Let me just leave this here. So that's Ellie, and then Ellie needs her tail. Ellie needs her tail. And then we're going to give her the eye, and then another eye. Color in the eye. You know, and then for the feet, you want to give her the little toes. And then for the ear, this is a little detailed, but you know, it's still fun to do. You know, and then you want to just give it some color. So imagine a blue elephant with a smile. You know, blue elephant. Then we're gonna put this over here, some blue over here, some blue in the tail. And then, you know, this elephant's gonna have a green bag. You know, they go outside in the rainforest sometimes, or wherever they are, you know, just outside. So there you go. And we're gonna name it Ellie, because why not? So, Ellie the elephant. At least kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so now we got F. F is for fish. And let's see, so we're gonna do a capital F. And then we're actually going to connect the body. You know, and then every fish has a tail. So we're going to give it a little tail. You know, then we're going to make the face. You're going to give it an eye. Always smiling. You know, Dr. Seuss always had some smiling fish. And then you got here the little top fin. You got a little bottom one. And then for here, we're gonna do this to make it its little tail, I mean, it's fin. And then, you know, we're gonna name him. Daddy, what should we name our fish? Do you have any ideas for the fish name? I like Frank. 
Frank the Fish. There you go. <laughs> Frank the Fish. Now, you know, like I said, we're not going to color to make this video last as long because I know, the, you know, some of the kids like to draw. So we're going to just scribble in the color to show you guys what it will look like. This right here, beautiful, beautiful, you know, orange tail. He's a colorful fish. You'd love seeing the colorful fish out there. You know, so there's your colorful Frank the fish. And we're on to the next letter. The next letter is going to be G. Oh, G is a good one. G is going to be for. Giraffe, and you know, for giraffe, you know, giraffes are cute animals. You know, they got you know the long necks. They're always very curious. And you know, so this is this I think is going to be a little interesting for the kids. They're going to be really excited to see this one. You know, so we're going to do a capital G. And then with the capital G, we're actually going to take this first. We're going to go inside the G and around the top to give it its neck. And then with its neck, we're going to give it its head. And then we're going to give it some ears. Oh, actually, I lied. I'm sorry, not its ears. These would be like its horns on its head. The ears go right there. This would be where the mouth would be. And then you want to give it the legs. You know, and then you guys can't forget that giraffes have tails. So if you just want to make this line a little bit thicker, and then when you come out, give it its tail, and then you can't forget about the eyes. So we're going to give it some eyes, the nose. I'm sorry. I went too close. The nose, the smile. And then one thing we can't forget, giraffes have spots. So let's give it some spots. All the way up. And there you go. You have your giraffe. And you know, you want to just also give it, you know, where his feet would be, some detail. So we're gonna name our giraffe Gary, because why not? Gary is a great name. You know, we seem to be going on a pattern pattern here of you doing name by letter. So, you know, it'd be interesting when we get to the other letters. So Gary the giraffe. And we keep going. So what's next? So now after G, we have H. So here's our H. We're going to do horse for H. Ever try riding a horse? It's very hard if you're a bigger guy. So we're going to do a lowercase h for this. And the first thing we're going to do is get its head going. And then once you get the head, you obviously want to get the body. So here's the body. And then after the body, you want to give it Basically, we're going to be adding to this a little. So first thing you want to do is put it back on. And then you want to give it its ears. And then the horse always has the mane going. You know, and then you want to, if you know, you want to be creative, you can put the mane on top as well. You know, then a smiling horse is always needed with its eye. Oh, that's, there you go, the eye goes right there. 
and now you just want to add in the extra legs so you're just gonna you know see that little angle right there and this horse you know this horse is going to be happy so you know you want to get that front hook going because you know they're adorable they're adorable animals and the last thing you need is its tail And there you go, you got yourself a nice little horse. And you know, when you color it in, you want to give it a spot. You know, a lot of horses have that one spot in front of their nose. So that could be open there. And we're gonna name this guy Henry the Horse. All right. So after after all these animals, you know, you've been, you know, you, the kids are going to be tired and you got to go to something else. So we're going to put some food up there. So we're going to go to I. And for I, we're going to be doing ice cream. So for I, you know, we're going to use the lowercase I. And then we're actually going to turn it into a V real fast, and then close it out, which makes the cone. And then, you know, you just wanna put some flavors on here. So we're gonna put a couple layers, cause you know, the cones with a couple layers is always the best, you know, on the hot summer day. You know, and then you wanna make them closer together too, cause you know, you gotta get to the top. And then, so there's your ice cream. And then, you know, you want to, you know, if you want to get creative kids, you know, you could also make the waffle cones. So, you know, you just throw a couple of lines in there. And go across. It's beautiful. You know, beautiful, nice little ice cream cone. And, you know, kids, you can get creative too. You know, sometimes ice cream cones got flavors and stuff on them. So. You could throw a nice little like topping on it right there, cherry on top. You know, you guys you get creative. You know, you're home, you're drawing. That's the whole point of drawing, you know, creativity. You always want to be, you know, show what you got on your mind sometimes. So this is a perfect time to do it. All right. So now after I comes J. And then we're actually gonna be doing a jug. So a jug, if kids don't know, is basically like, you know, another word for pitcher. Uh, it's basically just a container with water. So we're actually gonna do a capital J here. And then we're actually gonna continue this and then just do a little dip right here. Continue it, and then from back here, we're going to make the handle. And then once we do the handle, you want to do like another inside just to show it's the handle. And then you just want to, you know, go like this to show there's water in it. You know, you could throw the waves in there. You know, like I said, drawings, you could be interesting with it. You know, and like I said, when you color it in, you, know, you could show the difference by this being blue. And then the jug could be, you know, green for the handle, have a nice colorful jug for the summer. And then, you know, that's really it. You know, if you want to show some extra detail, you could, you know, border this out a little to show the top. But there you go, there's our jug. Junk of water. All right. So now we got K. You know, K looks basically the same, high or low. So we're going to make a key for K. So like this. So first thing we need is the capital K. And with the capital K, we're gonna make this key. 
So first thing we're gonna do is make the head of a key. Now this is gonna be like an old school key. So we're gonna throw that in there with the little circle for the little key ring hole. And then we're gonna take the key and make its full entry width. And then this is gonna be like a little long key, but what you wanna do after is go inside to make the firm part of it. So then you wanna just shade this in. And then there you go, that is your key. So when you add color to this, you know, it would look something like this. You wanna get the whole key of the one color. You know, just go in and, you know, make it look nice and pretty. And we can do key. And I'm just gonna be your house key, basically. So after key, after K, we have L. Now L, I found the I found the funny one for L. We're gonna make a llama. So for an L, we're actually gonna do a capital L for the body. Okay, and then we're actually gonna come in with the neck again, but we're gonna stop here and give the llama its body. We're gonna give it its tail, little legs. And then, you know, you want to get the fur going a little, you know, all the way up. And then we're going to do its head right now. So here's the head. And then the head's going to be really simple. You know, put his eyes there. His nose is just a little bit bigger of a circle. You want to go down. I'm going to go with the circle from the nose and then make the mouth and then just its ears and there you go we have your llama now i know we've been going with all the same letters for this but as a funny joke we're going to call this kendrick llama If the kids don't get it, I'm sorry. This is just more of a joke for me. All right. So now we're at the letter M. And for M, we're gonna do mouse. It's a good one. So we're gonna do a capital M. And then inside here, so inside the top, we're actually just gonna circle out and make it a head. Put two eyes, then you wanna give it the ears. And then you wanna actually just put a little tip right here, color it in, a little circle. It's for the nose, and then it's whiskers. And then you want to give it the body it already has. So you just want to circle it out at the end. And you know, be cute about it. You know, mice a little tiny, so you want to give them little tiny hands. And then you want to give it its you want to give it its tail. And then you want to give it little tiny feet. And then once you color it in, you can do whatever color you want. Well, we're going to name this guy Monty. So this is Monty Mouse. And now we're moving on to letter N.
Okay, so we're on letter N. And for N, we're going to do net. Now, when you think of net, it's not like a basketball net, more of like a catch and fish net. So, we're going to do an N. We're going to first close out the top. And then we're going to make the cover for it. And then once you make the cover for it, you want to make the bottom. So you're going to just loop and come back around like that. And then, you know, you just want to add a little stick. And then basically, you know, just to make the net look like a net, you're going to throw some lines in there. You know, and just go through it again. And there you go. And then there you go. That's in that. And, you know, just to show it off a little bit more, you could border out this circle. You know, so when people look at it, they could tell that it's an actual circle up there. But that's really it. You know, this is, this is your little fishnet. All right. After N, we got O. And O is, o is going to be a cute one. O, we're going to use octopus. I'm going to come up a little bit so we can see. So we're going to use just, it depends on what size. I'm going to use a capital O, you know, make it the mommy octopus, basically. Now, for here, we're actually going to put the eyes in between. I suggest using a pencil for this one so you can erase the lines when you're done. So, oh, it's okay. So, we're actually just going to go back around just like this, and just like this, and there you go. And now for the O, you know, the octopus, besides its eyes, has a little nose, a smile, and tentacles. Now, I suggest still sticking with a pencil for here because once you we're done with your tentacles. You are going to want to erase the other lines. So, again, my eraser doesn't like to cooperate with me, so we're just going to connect the ends. But that will basically be it. You know, this is our wonderful cute little octopus. You want to give it some eyes, obviously. So here are the eyes. And, you know, just, just for the fun of it, he's going to have a hat. I think he deserves to have a hat. A nice little top hat. It's going to be a groovy octopus. And there you go. And we're going to, so I don't know. Danny, what are you thinking? I'm Oscar. You like Oscar? Oscar, yeah. I, I was thinking either Oscar or Oliver. Oscar Oliver. sounds good. Ooh. You like Oliver? Okay, let's go. I like Oliver, but how about this? We're going to name him both. He's going to have Oscar, Oliver, the octopus. He's going to have two names. Because you picked yeah. a good one right there. You picked a good yeah. one, so we got to use both. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oscar Oliver. He's the, he's the groovy octopus of the sea. All right. So now after O comes the letter P. And we're going to be doing penguin for this. All right, so penguin, we're going to do a capital P. And then we're going to actually give the penguin its belly right here. It looks like a B now. So then we're going to give it its beak. 
and then we're going to give it its belly. And then from here, you actually want to give it its little wing. You know, the eye is going to go up here. And then you want to give it its back side. And then its little tail. And then its feet. See here, you know, because we're looking at this one angle, you don't only can you can only do one foot, but if you want to get creative, you can put the other foot up, up like here and make it look like he's about to go dancing like happy feet. So, you know, we're gonna call him hmm, what's a good P name? I can only think of Perry. Danny, you have anything? Peter. Um, Peter, Peter. Well, I didn't even think of Peter. Pe Peter Penny, the Penny, Penny. Do we have any any girls on here? I don't know. Oscar, Monty, Kendrick, hmm, Henry, ice, Gary, Frank. Ice cream cone. Oh, we have e Ellie. Ellie. We have Ellie. We didn't name the bird. We're gonna name him Barry. <laughs> And then Anthony the Ant. Let's go with another girl's name. We could do Penny. We could do like Penny. Penny. Let's go. Let's go I like, Penny. I like Penny. Yeah, let's do Penny. Penny the Penguin. And kids, I do recommend if you have not seen it, please go watch Happy Feet. We're going to put that on here. <laughs> A great movie about penguins. Mitch yeah. totally recommends it. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after penguin, we're gonna be stepping away from the animals for one second. And this is actually for all the girls. So we're gonna do Q. And for Q, we're actually gonna be drawing a queen. So we're actually going to do a capital Q, and then with that, we're actually going to take this line and bring it over here, and then we're going to also put in her smile, her nose, her eyebrow with a little eye, and then we're going to just add to her hair first and then bring in the rest of the hair. And then you wanna add her crown. You know, the crown is also something I suggest doing with a pencil, uh, cause you know, you're gonna to wanna to get rid of the top of the head right here when you put the crown on. So there's some circles for the jewels. And then, you know, you want to give her a little bit of a body. That way it doesn't look just like a floating head on your drawing. And, you know, you can make the eye a little bit bigger. You know, you could color in the hair, whichever one you want. But we're going to, this is going to be queen of, let's say, cartoons. But that's basically what we've been doing this whole time, drawing little cute cartoons. All right, so move on from the queen, and we're gonna take a nice ride down technology lane with the letter R. R, we're gonna be making it a robot. One of my favorite things. Technology is a great field, let me tell you. So we're gonna start with a capital R. And then first thing we're gonna do is close off the R again, kind of make it looks like a B, but you know, all these characters, you know, start somewhere. So then first thing we're gonna do after we close it off is make the eye, and then we're gonna make the mouth. 
you know, got to give it that robotic mouth. And then we're going to give it its antenna for its head, a little gear, make it look like it has an ear too. It's going to have wheels for feet. And then for his arm, you know, you want to give it a little robotic touch to it. So you're going to make it come out two lines and then give it like a magnet kind of hand. Then we're going to color that in over here. And there you go. And this is our robot. And we're going to name it. Let's name it Reggie the Robot. Reggie the Robot seems like a cool guy. All right. Now we are at S. And for us, we're going to be doing Swan. Now for Swan, let's see. So first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing capital S. And then we're actually going to close off the S, make it a bubble letter. So you just want to go like here. Oh, I went too far. We're going to try that again. So then we have that. There's the body. We're actually going to add a nice little half S over here. Sorry, I moved my iPad and messed that up. Try that again. Now, kids, when you do this, you want to be careful. I happen to be on an iPad, but when you're on pen and paper, if you're not using a pencil, you know, it's gonna, you're going to mess up. So I would definitely recommend being very careful when you do this sometimes. There's the eye. There's the beak, and then with this, this is actually supposed to be its wing. So we're gonna just make it a little bit higher because this is gonna be the back of the swan. So there's your cute little swan. Doesn't really look like much, but when you color it in, it'd look a lot better. Uh, we're gonna name this Sally the Swan. Cute little girl, swan, she kicks water all the time. She's sitting down right now in the water, which, you know what, actually we could add real quick. And sitting in a nice little pond. And then you could add the waves in it. And there you go, Sally the swan, sitting in some water. All right, so next we got tea. And for T, we're going to be doing tent. So let's see. For tent, let's see how we can draw a tent out of this. So we're going to take a capital T and go like here. And then you want to add the walls to the tent. And then the roof to the tent. And then the tent is gonna have a little flag. And you guys wanna make sure you leave a little space for the pole. You know, then you're gonna add a nice little window here, a little window here. And then the one thing you do before you wanna color it in is you actually wanna put a nice little nail right there. That way it looks like it's getting held down in the ground. Because all tents need to be. And this and way the wind won't this way the wind won't blow it away. Exactly. And there you go, and that is your tent. You know. This is your tent for camping. So now after we're done drawing our cute little tent, we're gonna move on to the letter U.
All right, and for you, we're going to be doing umbrella. So for umbrella, let's see how we're going to do this. So the U is actually going to be a lowercase U, because it's actually going to be the bottom of it. And we're going to continue it to go up. And then you want to make a couple zigzag marks here, zigzag marks there. And then you want to basically do another U for the top. And then you're going to take the zigzags and go in on the, each tip of them. You want to do it so it curves a little, making the umbrella more round. And then you want to always give it the umbrella that little tip up top. And then when you color this in, I haven't showed you guys what it looks like in a while. You know, when you color them in, it'll be red. You're going to throw red here, red in every other one. And then we can do some blue, give it that nice double color. And that's really it. And then when you guys want, you guys could thicken out this part of the U for the handle. And then there you go. There's your umbrella. And for all the kids, using an umbrella while it rains is a great idea. Always listen to mommy and daddy when they tell you when it rains, use an umbrella. All right, so after you, we got V. And for V, we are going to be making a vulture. Now for this one, for everybody, a vulture is a type of bird. So first thing we're going to do is make the V. And then we're going to make a little circle here, a little circle here, or like a, almost a full circle. You want to keep the inside of the V open. And actually, you could close up this one. And then we're going to do its wings. So you want to give it some wings. And then for its neck, so its neck and its head is actually going to be coming out the circle. So it's going to actually going to come up the V, come over here. And then here, so when you erase this, when you erase all the extra lines, actually going to look like this. This little eye, and then the rest of it's going to go here. And then, you know, with the vulture, you got to give it some feet. And then you just want to, you know, if you want your color in this part right here, You know, and then this would be it's considered its mate, its little, you know, fur area, and then with basically its body and then the wings on top, you know, its beak is right here. And then we're going to name this vulture Vicky. Vicky the vulture. All right, so we have four more left after this. So now we're at W. And for W, we're gonna do watermelon. And for watermelon, we're gonna do a lowercase w. And we're gonna close all, this is gonna be a half already bitten into watermelon because somebody was hungry. I blame Danny. And then we're just going to make another W inside to give it an inside. And then this is basically what would happen if you color this in. 
So then this is going to be red. And then this is going to be green when you fully color it in. And then if you want to, you can actually take some, because you're probably going to be on white paper. You could put some seeds in there. And then there you go. And then that's your watermelon. All right. After watermelon, well, we're going to do X. And for X, we're going to be doing X ray. So for X-ray, we're going to be doing capital X, and then we're going to make a box through it because this will be the X-ray box. And then we're actually going to be just making some lines through it. Then the guy's head's gonna come out here. We're gonna give this guy some hair. You know, and his shoes are gonna be out here. This guy's missed the x-ray a little. I don't think he wanted to see his full body. So we're gonna just finish off the body right here. And he's gonna be very surprised to see his x-ray in the picture. And then that's basically it, in a sense, that this would be the x-ray machine. And my guy over here, John, is getting an x-ray. That's basically that. John's a great guy. He's always willing to help. All right. So now after X comes Y. Oop, let's make a capital Y first. And then a lowercase Y. And for Y, we're going to be doing yak. Now yak is an animal. And to start the yak, we're going to make a capital Y. And then we're actually going to do the horns first. And do the same thing, just come up and do that. And then once you do that, you're actually going to make its head. So the head is actually gonna go through it. So again, I recommend using a pencil for this. Um, you know, you want to draw so you have the face, and then with the face comes the nose, and then the ears, and then you want to give it some hair. And you know, just so I'm just gonna color him in real fast. All right. And then usually what you're going to do here is take out this one line in the middle. So, and then once you take out that one line, you could actually color in his nose, the normal color right here. Now, usually yaks have their eyes covered by their top of their hair. Um, but we will add the nose features to it. So let's put his nose right here. Now you want to kind of do like half, like I guess you could call them like cut, half cut lemons or like orange slices kind of shape, but like a half circle. And then like the, the smile. The, no the nostril, right? The nostril, yes, the nostrils. So it basically looks like an angry, it looks like a happy face on his nose. 
And then just before we finish, you want to put another circle in the ear just because they have that other, they have like that two kind of color going for them. And then that's really it. You would take, you know, the orange here, color this in. You can make the hair brown. Uh, the horns would be this color as well. You know, this would be two different colors, like a yellow and orange mix. And then the nose would be gray, actually. So we could go here and just kind of scribble some gray, you know, around just to kind of show you guys what he would look like in a quick sense. And then this is going to be Yanni Yak. All right, guys, now we're at our last letter. You guys have been great so far. Thank you for everything that you guys have been watching so far. And the last one, obviously, Z. You know, it's a giveaway. Everybody loves the animal. We're going to do a zebra. So for Z, we're going to be doing this as a capital Z. We're going to add its ear. And then we're going to kind of give it the top of his face. And then we're going to give it its body. And then we're going to kind of just add another piece right here. His other ear. The hair. Because when you do this, you want to put some lines into it. And then this zebra is going to be sitting. So you want to put one leg here. And then one leg here. Kind of just stick out the whole leg here. So it would be like this in a sense. And then you want to add its tail. But since it's sitting, the tail is going to just be right over here. And now the fun part, after we put the face in. So here's the eyes. And the snout. And the mouth and its nose. We got to add its stripes. So right there, right there. We're going to put them all in the back. Oh, sorry, they went too far there. That's its hair. Here, if you want to add one more. And then put the zigzags in. And you know, you can have it going around, whichever way you guys want. You know, it's supposed to be fun, creative for you guys again. You know, so you could do all that. Add a little zigzag for the legs. And we're going to name our little zebra Ziggy. Ziggy the zebra. And there you go, guys. This is the whole alphabet. You know, we got Ziggy, Yanni, our little guy Johnny doing an x-ray, the watermelon, Vicky, an umbrella, the tent, Sally, Reggie, the queen of cartoons, Penny. You guys remember to watch Happy Feet. Oscar, Oliver, the octopus, our fishnet, Monty, Kendrick Lamar, the key for the house, the jug of water, some ice cream, Henry the horse, Gary the giraffe, Frank the fish, Ellie the elephant, Dino, Dino the dinosaur, Charlie the cat, Barry the bird, and Anthony the ant. And guys, this has been Drawing with Bam Bam Draws and Dan the OT man. And that is it for our drawing lessons. Awesome. Danny? Beautiful. I'm stop sharing the screen now. Beautiful, beautiful. And all right, guys. Thank you. No so, problem. No problem. So I hope everyone had fun at home. I know I did making different animals for each letter and, and not even just animals, different things, right? And remember, you can color yeah. it in, being creative can add handwriting, typing, using the names, making your own names, whatever you want to do. Just like Mitch was saying, it's really meant just to be open-ended, you know, for you to be able to be creative and, and have fun on your own. Absolutely. So remember, Mitch Bam Bam Draws, he actually does a lot of custom work. I actually have a awesome custom-made Dan the OT Man hat here. 
good vibes, yes, sir. right? So yes, yes, yes. Um, Mitch, do you want to say maybe like your uh, like social media things in case anybody? Yeah, wants to guys, check you, if out? You, you know, if anybody watching the video is interested in a custom hat, here's another good example. This is mine. Don't mind the hair. This is one of mine. <laughs> Uh, you know, Bam Bam draws. I do designs. Um, you know, I also do sneakers as well. Here's it's actually, hats. It's like hats, sneakers. Um, those ones actually, on the wall. Those ones on the wall. I'll take them off in a second. Here's actually a pair of sneakers I did. You know, Rick and Morty Rick sneakers. And Morty. You know, tribute to Kobe as well. You know, just some random designs on these. Um, you know, besides that, I got this hat as well that i did this one was more character related a snapback hat oh, you know Iron had Man. silver sonic Bra Whoa. silver brawly hulk uh charizard for all my pokemon fans out there iron man the nice. green ranger black panther you uh -huh. know i could you know Whoa. guys just you know i do like i said snapbacks dad hats sneakers all customs all one of one uh, you know, I'm actually in the work here. I also do black hats as well that, you know, black and silver hats, you know, you know, just, you know, just, you know, if you guys are interested, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at bam underscore bam underscore draws. Um, you know, if you guys are interested in placing an order, just, you know, personal message me, DM me on Instagram, you know, my prices are on the page as well. And, you know, if you guys are interested, we can talk about what you want on the hat, you know? And uh, Dan, yeah. thank you very much for having me on, on the show today. And uh, thank you very much for doing the video with me. Uh, thank you, man. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. Hope everyone enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more videos. I have some more special surprises. Thank you, Mitch with Bam Bam Draws for joining us. Hope no everyone problem, has, man, a, no has a wonderful day. Did you, you I'm too, sorry, guys. I... I cut you off. Did you want, were you about to say something? No, no, no. I was going to say thank you again, guys, for having me. Yep. Thank you, everyone, so much. All right. Take care, everyone. Be well. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.